Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Remember, subscribe is the vibe. You boys on the road to 20K humbly. Humbly. Yo, we got the mainstream media is hiding Josh Giddy's allegations. Josh Giddy, who's a forward for the OKC Thunder, recently got caught up in some real weird activities, apparently having sex with a 15 year old. Uh, don't know too much about it, but I've been I've been interested from a distance. So we're gonna get right into what's going on. Why are they hiding this? Why are they hiding this? Well, he white, so we already know why he hiding this. But we're gonna get right into it. Oklahoma City Thunder has been in some hot waters. Got my headphones this whole time. Situation. We're gonna be uh, very uh, particular on our wording in this video, but he is being accused of something very, very heinous, and that is dealing with a minor. There have been some pictures and videos that surface on the internet, and of those pictures and our videos, it seemed as if like. The woman that is involved is uh, underage. How old she is still has not been pinpoint, but all of which is under the age of 18. Uh, we'll get into some of the more particular details about essentially what state it's in, but personally speaking, I'll be honest with y'all, I don't know the uh, age of consent from state to state, state to state basis. I just don't, I personally don't know that. I think the school she was in was in California, so. So this happened last week, Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving, when a lot of the information started to get leaked. There was, a, it seemed like a Snapchat picture where she literally said, just F Josh Giddy. And it's a picture of Josh Giddy and the uh, alleged minor in the photo as well. Uh, but it's to show the day and age that we're in, bro. Like, why is that something you even want to post? Like, the addiction for clout pisses me off every single time I catch people lacking, bro. Why is it relevant that you slept with someone? Because you want attention? You want clout? Like, it's like, ah. Uh. Ah. This time has progressed, more and more information has been leaked, and it's starting to become a little bit, a little bit more diluted. So much so that there are some people claiming that this is information that has been known, especially at franchise level, the Oklahoma City Thunder level. They've known about this for a whole year, and they decided with the information that they had at the time not to act on it, at least not in the sense of suspending Josh Giddy or removing him from the team or even releasing the information to everyone else. However, what has happened since last wednesday when the information first leaked the nba decided they were going to do an investigation themselves an internal investigation to try to get as much information as possible um and there's also a lot of side conversations about how espn is reporting this because i personally believe i believe they're doing a terrible job but just recently and why we decided to make the video is because this is now escalated so much so the uh, police are now involved as well they're doing their own investigation newport beach police department is aware of the information being circulated online involving an alleged relationship between professional basketball player Josh Giddy and a female minor, the Newport Beach Police Department. The police is actively seeking additional information related to these alleged um, these allegations and pursue all leads and evidence to obtain the facts in the case. TMZ also then reported uh, earlier today as well that unfortunately, and this right here is where once TMZ gets a hold of a story, it's over, bro. It's over. I don't know who they got working for their organization bro but it always seems like they know everything that's going on before the news even breaks like to this day i'll never understand how they knew kobe Bryant was on that helicopter the day kobe's uh helicopter fell and, and crashed like out to this day how'd y'all know out of all the helicopters and planes that could have been up in the air that let me not get into a whole other ramp but these people got inside sources bro where things get even more stickier. The alleged teenage girl and her family are refusing to cooperate with authorities. So definitely a lot. This is this is this is definitely a very very complicated money. Um, I so know if OKC knew this for a year, did not say shit. Yes, yes. The police is putting out a press release saying that they need information, which you wouldn't do if you had leads. So it looks like they might be stuck. The NBA investigation started last week, but we. We don't know what they've determined yet, which might they might end up suspending him or probably packing this nigga up from the league. There's either some information that opposes all the info we know in public, which is why OKC held off or why the police are stuck right now and they're putting out that press release. Or this is one of the most weirdly handled controversies I've seen in the NBA in a while yeah. because it seems like they're trying really hard to protect him instead of just getting to the truth. So I, I want to be clear, the, the, um, the belief that, or the reason why we believe and many people believe that OKC has known about it for a while is that a it seems like some of the videos that were taken and were spreaded on the internet were a long a long time ago like a year a year long b there's tweets claiming that josh giddy was doing this a year ago but seeing more importantly another nba player uh, andrew bogut i actually think he's um out of the league now but uh he was a star actually a andrew bogut um was on a podcast and he stated that they've known about this information for a year and claims that what ended up happening is that allegedly she was a minor but lied about her age and that's why um 
they handled it the way that they did handle it. From what I understand, if I'm wrong, I'll come back and apologize. I don't think it is that. I think the girl was younger. From what I understand is the girl in question has lied about her age and said that she was of age at the time. Uh, this has also pro happened, I think, a, over a year ago now. I don't think this is something that's happened recently, much to people thinking on social media it has. And it's, it's just hard to uh, give proper comment on this until this plays out. Now, OKC have been aware of this from what I'm told for the last year they've known about it. Uh, they have deemed Josh free to play. They don't see any concerns. The NBA have allowed that, which is kind of telling because when these kind of things happen, the NBA kind of tries to really hey, take a couple of games off. I'll say this. like I like having my own opinion about shit like this. And this is where I kind of find myself riding the fence. Um, if he knew she was underage and he still went and slept with her, bro, you're a weirdo. Um, you, you deserve everything you got coming for you, you know, and that means uh, you're out the NBA. You're probably going to lose out on your $80 million contract. Sponsorships, what are those? Like, just delete all that from the membrane. But to be honest, not, you know, bro, men are out here asking women for state IDs before they sleep with them. You know, that's not a requirement on a man's hit list when it comes to qualifications as far as, like, is she good enough to, to sleep with? We tend to believe you or take you f at face value. If you tell me you're 19 and you're 19, okay. I'm not going to ask for a state ID and find out that you're 13. Like, that's different. That's wild. So I'll give him that benefit of the doubt to not completely rule him as some type of sicko. I've known people that I've gotten got in, in the, oh, shit, I thought she was 17. I thought she was 18 kind of game. He's 21. She's 15. That's a, a six-year difference. Let's not be like hypocrites and act like we haven't seen a wider age gap in other relationships in which we didn't question. Like the whole, matter of fact, the whole Diddy situation that's being talked about. I think Diddy was like 39 and, and Cassie was 19. That's a 20-year gap. But when they were when they were dating, nobody said anything. We were just, just taking photos of them publicly, calling them relationship goals, this, that, and the third. So I'm not going to chop this kid up because he dated a, or he slept with a girl that he was only six years older than that's only six years and if she lied then she lied and if she was underage then he got got and unfortunately he's probably gonna it's probably gonna ruin his career flip side i don't think they can do anything even if there was you know some smoke to this fire until there's formal charges prior i think as per the per the cba i don't think you know pending an internet twitter investigation they can step down a player from playing he'd have to agree to it so they can't just say you step down so he has not been formally charged i don't believe he's even been interviewed by police uh to this point i think it occurred in california where the age of consent is 18 which which does throw a spanner in the works as to did josh know she was overage i'm i'm told that's what he was told. I uh, didn't know she was underage, sorry, but I was told he was thinking that she was over overage. But just a messy situation. Now, A, I want to be clear. The reason why that is a bit skeptical is because if the police need to know information and if the NBA need to know information, it sounds as if like OKC, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they know enough information to at least pass them on to someone else. And they've allegedly now have known enough information for a year to not only allow him to play, but not deem it necessary to take any more serious action. They can't, they and can't. And they're still, he's still playing as well. They can't take him out. If they take him out, well, they could do it. They but could, yeah. Putting him back in would be a nightmare if they don't have like proof this nigga didn't do it. No, no. That, and once that's... you take him out, putting him back in is going to be like a media firestorm. They're be like, what, you think it's okay now? Or are you going to prove it? It's easier to just keep him in and pretend like it's not that big of a deal. Okay. But if people make it a big deal, they'll have no choice but eventually bench him and then they're going to lose one of their assets. But I think like. But the point, but you understand what I'm saying? That I if, see what you're saying. Yeah, if there, I, it seems like there's enough information that they knew, they know about to have made the decision one way or another. I agree. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Or at least what they believe to have been enough information. That's I, what I'm saying. Who knows? All this is kind of speculation. The reality yeah. is, is if the family of the, the victim here doesn't say nothing, they either got paid off or he has leverage that could damage her and the family would rather that don't come to light neither. And so they have a mutual benefit in just not saying anything on the benefit of both of the parties here. But um, I don't think this nigga would agree to be in videos on tape. You would have to be pretty fucking brain dead to let her record you saying all those things. And he knows it, was just, it wasn't just one video. Hold on TikTok video for me. Seen, bro. No, it was multiple. Yeah. And and post them. Even just have them on their phone is nuts. If yeah. he knows he's committing a crime. Yeah. So I would like to believe he's not that brain dead and that he didn't know. But that's the same thing that uh, Akon got caught up in. Well, I don't know if it's the same exact thing, but it was just somebody was at a club. The story Akon told, she lied about her. Oh, Akon, yeah, yeah. So that's a throwback story. Um, 
the nigga went to jail. That's why I like his label's called Comic Music. But like, it's very possible. To be fair, he shouldn't have been in that club neither. But at least he was over the age of consent. So, so let's let's talk about that. For those, so, so for those who do not know, um, this all came about because, or at least one of the conversations again, going back to the whole, she lied about her age. There's video out there claiming that this might have been the video that might save his career. That they were at a club, and that's where allegedly and potentially. They met. Okay, let's say, and I and I believe that I agree with you. I, I hope that this nigga is not that dumb to know that he's dealing with a minor and have video evidence of him dealing with a minor. That would that would be dumb. So let's say hypothetically speaking, yeah, she could have lied and she was at the club, and that's how he found her out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is a club that was serving alcohol. It seems to be, and if that is the case, he also lied about his age because he was not supposed to be in that club. He literally just turned twenty one last month, and if it happened a year ago, he he was even younger. So um, if so, he also should not have been there. So even if that is something we're gonna hold against her, um, again a minor. Um, but if we're holding that against her, we definitely have to hold that against a grown ass fucker. Yeah, it's adult. different though so, being fifteen in a club. Than twenty though. No, I'm not. I'm it's still, I'm still illegal. What I'm, what I'm saying difference. is, yeah, I understand. What I'm saying is, I'm a bit more lenient on a minor lying about her age than an adult lying about his age, and in, you know, meeting each other because both of y'all are so. To be on. fair, for both of them to get in there, they either had to be plugged or <coughs> lie about their age. Though. That also could be true. So yeah. fake IDs and all. Yeah. Potentially. However, I want to be clear. Unfortunately, as the law prohibits, I don't know if that's necessarily going to save him because she still was a minor. I, I don't. I don't know what. The, I don't know what to tell some of y'all. It's kind of tough with that boy Giddy. And, that, and I'm be honest with y'all. That might be as as bad as it sounds. That might be best case scenario. That she lied about. Like that is the most. In all seriousness, that is the best case scenario for the situation that he was at a club that. He probably should not have been in. And she got in and she wasn't supposed to be there either. And she ended up she turned up lying about her age and ended up being way younger than expected. That right there might be that, that might save his career though. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna front. That's a saving grace. I wasn't even really thinking about it like that. But if that was the case, then yo, like at the end of the day, I always say, like, men don't ask for state IDs when we're trying to sleep with you. Whatever number you tell us, like, we're not gonna be like, I mean, you would think most men would be like, hold on, 14? Nah, you know, but then again, you know, we do got some weirdos out here, but best case scenario, if she lied to him, then he can use that as a reason for why it went down. You know, like, I don't know. But from when I first heard about the story, I was the narrative that was around was just like he was kind of like a predator almost. I was just like, Josh Kitty. He out here sleeping with how old and he's in the league and nobody talking about it. But now when the information comes to me and I could kind of see how things could happen that way, who knows? Be the but I understand it better now. scenario I could see, and people are going with that. Okay, wanna, However, we don't know, though. Yeah, I want to skip the speculation. <clears throat> until the NBA comes back with their investigation or the police find out more information, this is where it's probably going to be. Like, we don't know. So there's no point of just guessing what we think might have yeah. happened. I think the more interesting conversation is everything happening around it. Obviously, if Josh Giddy did it, then that's fucking insane work from a person who had potential to have a long career in the NBA and throwing that whole thing away is fucking nuts to me. Dude got out. Uh, he's 21. And I ain't gonna front. He nice. He's, he's actually gotten better throughout the years. I think this is his third year now. He's a really young kid. He, only 21. We call 21 babies in the NBA. Bro, this dude has 100 million easily coming towards his life in the next couple of years. To throw it away, if, if any speculation comes out that he knew she was underage, Anything like that comes up. Oh yeah, he's he's, he's a goner. Bang zoom. He'd have been in the league for like what you say, fifteen years? Yeah, literally, bro. Fifteen years. Yeah, he's, he's, a, good, he's a good player, man. He could have fifteen years. Yeah, man. The reason why I think this is being handled so interestingly <coughs> is because if you compare it to the way other things was handled <coughs> by the NBA or even criminally, this is weird. It's like they're trying to protect him for some reason. Just the media, the NBA, all of that. Bro, Kyrie got immediately suspended for posting a link to a video the NBA believed was anti-Semitic. I didn't watch it. I don't know what the fuck the movie Most had. people most people didn't watch it. Let's just be clear. Most but it was an immediate it. boom. Apologize. Same thing happened when he didn't want to uh deal with the COVID protocols and things True. of that nature. We've True. seen it so many times the NBA was quick to suspend. Quick True. To like with the John Morants of the world. So when you see them like doing the opposite here, it's like, damn, in those situations, even like in, in the John Morants, like even though that before they invest, fuck, they just said, fuck the investigation. We know what we have to do and did it. In this situation, they're like, hold on, let's do the investigation. Let's see what comes back. And then we're going to deal with our suspension. They definitely didn't handle John Morant with kitty gloves. I'll tell you that much. Even though like, like it's to the point where we had to keep saying, saying to ourselves, Hold on, did did Jock kill somebody? Did he shoot somebody? 
You know what I mean? Like, we had to really think. The way the NBA was bombing him, the way the media was bombing John Morant, and I was a little guilty of it, too. I'll, I'll hold myself accountable because I was looking at him like, yo, bro, you have so much to lose. You can't possibly be that dumb. That was my stance. You know what I mean? But I never wanted this kid's career to end for flashing a gun or whatnot. But, and the Kyrie Irving situation, like, don't get me started on that. I think that's still Fugazi. To this day, I would have took my apology back if I was Kyrie, but it is what it is. Politics. They're not approaching Josh Giddy with that type of energy. I haven't seen Josh Giddy on no front co cover. I don't see his name trending on Twitter. Like, what's going on? I think some people feel like they, they were repeat offenders, and that's why it may have been different. Um, especially what did Kyrie repeat? repeat offenders, so to be fair, I, I think my my issue is is a. Uh, I feel like when the NBA is investigating something or there's an investigation going on, bro, just sit just sit him out. Like it's he's already he's a it's a problem in the locker room. Not necessarily. Nah, a problem, nah, I don't actually but, agree with that. No, I'm well. Let me be clear. I don't agree with it, but that is protocol. That's protocol. Like we do an investigation is ongoing. That it's pretty common for them to like, hey, yo, sit out some games, take a leave of absence, and then we'll bring you back into the mix of things. Yeah, but then, kind of okay, the but then if, if somebody just makes up an accusation, even if it's something small, they're like, um, like he like, I don't know, he pushed like I don't know what's some small shit. He ran over my big toe with his car. Mm -hmm. They got the. That might be an investigation. Nigga has to sit out. I feel like it depends on the gravity of this is, the... This is pretty severe. Yeah, I think it depends on the gravity. Not in all cases. Okay, not in all cases, but something this severe where they're going to ask questions they may be pu pushing. I think that, yeah, it's 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 pretty pro common protocol for them to just sit out games until we figure out what the, we get to the bottom of it because now people are being investigated, including the police are now involved as well. However, even beyond that, I think, as you stated, how things are covered and how the NBA is handling it. If the NBA wants to handle it the way they want to handle it, I guess, I think it's very odd and interesting that, you know, it's almost been a week. I don't think it takes that long to figure out the age of this um, this, this alleged teenager. I don't think it takes that long. So it seems like there needs to be more digging, potentially. The police, the police know her age. Yeah, and I, and I also believe that at this point, if the police are involved, they know, they know her age, right? So I think there's more things that are need to be brought up before they just outright say, you know, X, Y, Z. Um, and so I think that is also very interesting that at least there hasn't been some information passed along to everyone, even though I think it's pretty clear at this point, information is known. What do you think the that other, NBA is gonna do? Like, let's say, let's say I think, they I think, get more information, they know her age, but they don't know the extent of their relationship because the family's not talking. Well, they can't, because yeah, because the family's not talking. Family, if the family's not talking, I'm just surprised that like nobody's saying anything. It's not just the biggest niggas, bro. No one. It's just it's dead silent. I want. I also had to show you. This Twitter thing. is the only like. Literally, Twitter bro, is literally the, the only, only niggas saying. Twitter is literally the only place. <laughs> That's crazy to me. And, and, I ain't go front. Twitter will ruin your career. You know what I mean? He may not get arrested or or charged with anything. He probably won't even get sued. But Twitter will never forget, bro. That's why I don't want to be famous, bro. Because too much people all up in your business and the moment you slip up, the moment you give people on the internet a reason and half the time they don't need one. I feel like all these meme gods be people that just be bored. But the moment I know I slip up, I say something or I get arrested, Twitter's never going to forgive me, bro. That's forever going to be attached to my name. And to be honest, Josh Giddy, he probably won't get arrested or charged with any of this. Like, I'm not sitting here advocating for the young man to go to jail unless he knew Shorty was underage. But from the looks of it, it looks like there's going to be a fart in the wind and nobody really cares. But Twitter? <laughs> Twitter's going to be on his ass for life. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video, man. Mamba out.